rooted without them. They're very deeply rooted in this cycle of most Americans, as well as many other people in the world. Uh, as a consequence, the opportunity to thoroughly examine the criminality of nuclear weapons was lost, and the truly criminal nature of nuclear weapons has still not been clearly addressed according to... got to go to work tomorrow and the kids have got to go to school but I've got the day off, woohoo! So I've sailed up the jumping pin and spent the night here. That's cold. <sighs> Breakfast this morning is spam with bacon. to be mainly sunny around the coast today. Ah, uh, the voice. Is anybody watching it? Let's 
little craters in the sand everywhere. They're from the stingrays. They sit there during the night, flapping their wings, hiding themselves in the sand. I'm waiting for some tasty little morsel to swim past. And uh, there's a lot of stingrays here. You can see the tracks where wallabies passed. Heaps of wallabies on the island here. So this is uh, South Stratbroke Island and over there is North Stratbroke Island and it used to be one big island in around 1895 or somewhere close to that there was a, a ship coming, coming past there loaded with uh, dynamite and whiskey I think and uh, there was a huge storm and it ran aground here and uh, this is a pretty remote area, there's no roads or anything on these islands and uh, you can only get here by boat so all the locals of course came because they had there was heaps of whiskey and stuff here and uh, all the dynamite washed ashore and to get rid of it they decided they'd blow it up so they blew it all up which kind of weakened, weakened the beach up there and then a couple of years later there was a huge storm and it just opened up the jumping pin bar there and uh, it's been open ever since eventually it'll silt up again it's a beautiful beautiful spot here it's... so somewhere down there's all the high rises of the gold coast and that's where all the tourists are you know None, well, very few, probably hardly any tourists would even know that this place exists. And that's what's so great about it. You can get away from everything and everyone. Look, okay, there you go. There's two people over there. You get away from all the plastic people, all the sleaze, and all the touristy nonsense. Because uh, most of the Gold Coast don't even know this place exists. And it's the best part of the Gold Coast. It's magnificent. It's amazing how much rubbish gets washed ashore everywhere, you know. It's disgusting what we do to the ocean. Back when I was in the Navy, we used to just throw all the bags and bags of rubbish out. Sometimes we'd have a shoot at the same time so we could uh, practice by trying to sink it a bit quicker. But, uh, you know, you'd be throwing out, called a gas out throughout all the rubbish and uh, you'd be able to see it in a line going right back to the horizon. Well I'm told that they don't do that in the Navy anymore. I certainly hope that's the case. We used to back when I was in there, that's for sure. I don't know, about 10 years ago a heap of American rubbish from an American warship washed in. I don't think uh, 
four wheel drives. Um, this, it's not a four wheel drive island. This this one, there's no. You can't just drive along the beach here, but these tracks are, are from the uh, the ranger who has to come down here and check it every day, I suppose. I don't know how many times a day. Just drive around. Be a nice job if you ask me. Winter on the Gold Coast Australia. You guys can have your snow. Hey, thanks. There's a heap of birds over there. I'm not sure what they are. Maybe oyster catchers. I can't see. My eyes are not good enough. But uh, this area here is um, it's a migratory birds breeding area. So I try not to disturb the birds too much if I walk along here, sort of move out the way. But uh, it amazes me how many people will just bring dogs here in their boats. Sorry dog people, but uh, I don't think dogs should be allowed to come here at all. I've sat in my boat up there and I've watched dogs merrily chasing all the birds around, you know. I'm sure if they come across the nest in there, they'll, you know, they're going to tear it up. It's pretty disgusting actually. Amazing how people think. So anyway, the plan is just to have a bit of a walk along here. I think uh, it's low tide at about 10.30ish. And uh, then the tide will start rushing in through the, through the pin here. And uh, we've got a bit of a northerly wind. Uh, is it northwesterly, northerly, I'm not sure. Somewhere around there. So I'm gonna try and ride the tide on this little bit of breeze back as far as I can towards home. Eventually uh, it'll be uh, bang on the nose, the wind. And I'm heading up to, towards Jake as well, every street point. Anyway, I'll get as far down there as I can. Two point two knots. I think I should have uh, waited till the tide started coming in a bit more because we're about right on slack tide now. There's very little breeze here. Anyway, still better than having the motor on, isn't it? 